What is going on guys? So you decided to join the army and you're a little bit worried. So in this video I want to talk about something that I've noticed and something that some people may be curious about because they are about to leave for basic training. So a kind of a reoccurring theme of a couple of questions, not always the same person or anything like that, but a lot of people are worried about going to basic training, which is totally understandable because it is an unknown world that you're about to go into, which is why I make these videos. So it kind of helps um, clear up some questions that you guys have. Um, but a lot of you guys are really worried and a lot of you guys honestly are probably thinking in the back of your mind, you know, what happens if I fail? What happens if I don't make it past basic training? Because you can fail basic training and it's not always a hundred percent um success rate actually it's a it's never a hundred percent pass rate i remember whenever i was at reception when we were sitting on our duffel bags literally sitting on our duffel bags the morning before going on the bus ride from reception to basic training so the minutes before basic training um some of the drill sergeants were talking to us and um one of the privates one of our soldiers I was about to leave he stood up and he told the drill sergeant he's like man he's like I've I've gotten to know a couple a lot of these guys over the past few days and you know I'm just here to tell you that you know we're all gonna make it through all it was like 200 of us are gonna you know pass basic training and nobody's gonna quit or anything like that and the drill sergeants were like yeah that's real sweet you know you're, you're so optimistic but that's just not gonna happen um, from their experience, I don't know about all of basic training and how it's ever been, but from their experience, they were like, nobody, there's never been a class of uh, basic training soldiers that has had a 100% pass rate. Um, and in this video, I wanna talk about really and truthfully, the only way that you can really fail basic training. Um, there's ways that you can fail certain aspects of basic training. There's a lot of things that are pass or fail, go or no go. Um, and you can still get a no go on things and get to retry. So um, real quick, the, the only way that you can fail basic training, and I want you guys to hear this, and it's the most important thing that you guys need to know before you leave, is that number one, I've said it before in past videos and I've said it in the comments. The biggest thing that they're looking for is how hard you're working and not giving up. That is the biggest things that they're looking for. If you're doing the wrong thing, as long as you're doing it as hard as you can go, as long as you're really trying, they're gonna notice that, right? So the only way that you can fail is to quit. And it happens every single cycle. It happens all the time. When I was at basic at Fort Benning, um, I think we had two people, or no, we had three people that tried to kill themselves we had two people that ran away and two people in my platoon um two people in my platoon quit and one of them ran away right so um numbers got kind of mixed up there whenever i was thinking but the the moral of what i just said was is the only way you can really fail is to quit and that is the biggest thing that i want you guys to understand because Let's say you're doing the obstacle course. Whenever you go to the obstacle course or the confidence course, right? There are so many number of obstacles and things to go past. And you will get a go or a no go depending on whether you or not you can actually get past that obstacle. They give you, I believe, two failures. Um, so you can fail or not complete two of the obstacles and still be fine. But if like, say for example, you fail three. So one of them is like the rope, a rope climb that a lot of people fail. The other one is like that little weaver. So you guys see there's um, these wooden posts and you kind of weave and go over and under to a peak and then you go over and under. The obstacle's literally shaped like this. Illuminati, just kidding. Um, but the obstacle's shaped like this and you go over and under the logs. A lot of people fail that one because it is a tiring obstacle. So there's other obstacles, but if you happen to fail three of the obstacles, you get a no-go. Um, some people think that, oh, if I get a no-go on this event, or if I don't do such and such, then I'm gonna fail basic training and they're gonna send me home and they're gonna recycle me and all that stuff like that. 
these drill sergeants, their goal is not to fail you. And I want you guys to understand that a drill sergeant's goal is not to fail and pick off as many people as possible. Um, at MEPS and stuff like that, their goal is to weed out as many people as they can. At um, reception, their goal is to push people forward in the best health as possible. At basic training, the drill sergeant's goal is to make and create the best soldiers that they can. Their goal isn't necessarily to just be like, oh, you failed this obstacle, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, recycle you, we're gonna kick you out of the army. That's not what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is the drill sergeants are going to, they're not gonna be all sweet and everything, but they're gonna give you another chance. So you may have to go like the next week or something with um, another company or something like that and do the obstacle course again until you pass. Now, um, sometimes you may not even do that. Let's say there's hypothetically 10 objectives in basic training. Some people will fail one or two of them and never even get the chance to make up those obstacles or those uh, courses or whatever that they failed and they may not even make that up and they will still pass basic training. Um, the red face test, the white face test, the blue face test which is the final inspection um, you could fail those and still pass. It is a go or a no go thing but you're still gonna make it through. The only way you're not gonna make it is let's say you're doing all these things and you just you're not even trying. So you fail this thing and you fail this other thing and you fail another thing and you know on the rug marches you just you know start walking you fall out of everything you're not trying um, they might kick you out of the army for a failure to adapt or whatever but let's say you you repeatedly actually fail everything so like you fail land nav you don't get all five points or the minimum of three points or whatever it was um, so you fail that and then you fail the night land nav and then you you fail out and fall out of the ruck march and that's really the only way that I can see and that I've experienced and that I've, what I've been told is the only way you can fail is by giving up and none of those things that I said are going to happen to you if you try. I have seen some of the guys that have been in the worst shape I've ever seen like some people that are in some seriously bad shape can only do a couple of push-ups can't even run um, two miles in under 30 minutes and they still make it past basic training. I'm not saying it was easy for them. I'm just saying that they had the heart and they kept pushing forward and kept going and kept going and kept going and didn't give up. That is the biggest thing. Um, some of you are worried in this video. I hope you guys understand that you will not fail basic training if you don't give up. That is the biggest thing. So shooting at the range. We had a guy who literally shot a one out of 40 the first time he actually went out there and um, shot on the pop-up range right a one you need to shoot a 26 essentially to pass 26 out of 40 you need to pass he shot one freaking target I don't even know how you do that but he shot one at the end of the day after going out to the range multiple multiple times the drill sergeants were there by his side helping him trying to understand what was going on they were helping him to the best of their ability to get him to pass they didn't just say oh he shot one you know you know kick him out of the army because you know he can't shoot worth of anything because one's pretty bad but the drill sergeants kept working at it and working at it and working at it there was another guy who could barely shoot anything as well he shot like a seven his first time and like a 17 and he never even passed until the last day and the drill sergeants never gave up on them. They spent extra time with those two soldiers to help them pass the range. And that is important because that was that's the drill sergeant's job is to develop and push through the best soldiers that they can possibly pass. As far as the PT test, a lot of people might be worried about the PT test. They, do, they, they did what I said before, which was to go outside and run two miles and time yourself. See... See how many push-ups you can do in two minutes. See how many sit-ups you can do in two minutes. And, you know, go online and do a PT test calculator and figure out what your score is. You only need to get a 50% in each category at basic training to pass. In AIT and later on you have to get 60%. But at basic, you only need 50. So if you went and did those things and you saw that, crap, I am probably going to fail my PT test. What happens if you fail the final PT test at basic training? 
Do you get kicked out? Do you get recycled? What happens? What happens is they give you multiple chances. So let's say you fail a PT test. You're going to do it again the next day. If you fail the final PT test again, you're going to do it the next day. And you'll probably do that three or four times. And if you fail it again after that, after going through all of basic training, you must not have tried it all. And, I mean, sometimes it happens for people that have to do the final PT test a couple of times. But the point I'm trying to get across here is, is you're not going to fail if you don't give up. If you keep pushing forward and if you keep trying and doing your best, you're not going to fail unless you quit or give up. So... I hope that answers some of your guys' questions. I hope that uh, smoothed out some of your worries about base training on failing. You know, what if I don't know land nav? What if I don't know this? First of all, if you don't know something, ask your battle buddy because they might know it and they could probably teach you. The other thing is, is what if I fail this part of basic training? What happens? Well, what happens is you're either going to get to try it again or it may not even be that important. You only have to worry about it, right? So bottom line, don't worry about it guys. You're going to pass if you keep pushing forward. The only other way that you might get um, fail basic training would be if you get injured really bad. So if you get hurt really bad and let's say you break your leg or something like that, um, you'll still have a chance to come back to basic training at a later date, but you're not going to essentially get to graduate with your class um, at that point. So. So that's pretty much it for this video. If it answered any of your guys' questions, you know, let me down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. If you know anybody who's leaving for the military and they're kind of wondering um, what happens if you fail, send them this video, share this video with them, and be like, you know, so I can tell them, you know, hey, you're not gonna fail unless you give up. So that's the biggest thing. So if you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Drop.